Hi, welcome to Magpie Moonchild. My name is Kaylee. This is a read for uh, Taurus for What Do You Need to Know? Um, what deck? What deck? What deck? Do you know what? I am. I'm going to do it. I'm going to let you have the spacious tarot. I got this deck yesterday and it's beautiful and it's matte and it's gorgeous and it's delicious and it's slightly smaller than a normal tarot deck. But the imagery in it is beautiful. And it's colourful yet earthy, so it kind of feels a bit Taurian, really, to be honest. And I don't know why I've done Taurus before Aries. Maybe there's a reason. We'll see. So, let's have a look. What messages have we got for Taurus? What does Taurus need to know right now? What does Taurus need to know? And it'll be what you need to know, not what you want to know. All the information about... Um, how role reversals work, placements in your chart, because this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon and Rising. Um, ten of Wands, feeling burdened. Um, this is, um, yeah, all the all the gump about the deck that I'm using for reference. This is new, it's the Spacious Tarot. And my God, it smells like my classroom. When I was little, it's amazing. It takes me right back, which has been pretty relevant this week, actually. I've had a lot of childhood things come through through a memory box and realizing that I was pretty special way back when I was little I just didn't know it and to give myself some credit which I think self-worth has been a big message this week all round in messages and readings so yeah so all the gump with that and um details of other videos that are on um you can have a look through the decks. I do flick throughs of the decks, but only if you feel drawn to do that. So, what does Taurus need to know? It'll be what you need to know, not what you want to know. This is a message that you need to hear, not what you want to hear. It's like your best friend. Have a look. Here we go. Ten of Cups, the Guardian of the Cups, Queen of Cups getting a mother that's feeling overwhelmed but overloaded full of love but overloaded what's this one ace of wands a spark of creativity it also looks a bit like burning of a candle at the wrong end You know when you get like, you say burning a candle at both ends. Can't see the other end, but it looks like it's really like something wants to get going and it can't quite get going properly. It's not a full flame, it's a spark. The initial spark. Child of Wand, which is the page of wand. So yeah, it's like you've got an idea you want to get off the ground. does Taurus need to know the chariot drive and focus passage a water passage in this case because I don't know why so it's very like the Lord of the Rings when they have to travel down the river to get to is it Gondor I could be really wrong it's an epic journey it's an epic travel it has good at the end of that journey although a lot of blood on the way and gore and terrifying things but it's at the end it's the, it's the high road isn't it the the path of righteousness all right you don't need to check, <laughs> check all the cards everywhere cards have gone everywhere and that's too many to deal with that's not that's not okay you're trapped in self-doubt though Lacking reciprocity, probably wanting a little bit of help, but unwilling to take it because those nests are empty. Something shot you out of the water, completely blown your whole world apart, and you are trying to bring that all back together. Driving forward. It's made you doubt yourself, though. Ooh, I've got 
some cards facing the wrong way. I wonder why. Nah, that's why. Okay. You're feeling isolated. You're feeling alone. You feel like you've been abandoned by probably those that are most important to you. Got empty nest, empty nest. Child could have left home recently. Gone. Um, clearly not a child if they've left home. But they're your baby. They're your your egg. Overall, emotionally, you love your family. Your family is everything. Um, you're very much the mother, the nurturing mother. You've got all their emotional needs covered. Um, you tend to the little bubble that is your family. You're very, very family orientated. Your child could have left home to go and follow always had an interest they've left home to follow something to follow a dream or a pursuit and they've always always wanted to do this always they've had that spark since they were tiny since they were tiny the tiny little salamander that this is what they wanted to do with their life it sparks their imagination they just can't get enough of it it's just always been there that spark's always been fizzing inside them you are worried you worry for them for whatever reason you just want them to have stability and you want them to succeed so you've got the four of wands and the six of wands Four of Wands is stability, the happy, secure future, the home card, the happily ever after, find your soulmate, the, that emotional, no, nothing can really shake it, Four of Wands energy. Six of Wands is victorious, accolades, recognition. So what you want them to have is a stable, a secure future in the field they've decided to follow. You want them to be recognised, you want them to be celebrated, you want them to earn what they need in the future to, to have that happy home. And you, you are concerned that they don't overburden themselves with this career path that they've chosen. They did not choose this career to you. They, they did not choose this career lightly. They didn't. They didn't choose it lightly. It was long and hard. They thought about it. They doubted. They worried. They were concerned. They took time out from themselves, separated themselves from everybody else to think about what it is that they wanted from their future, from their life where it is they want to go, what it is they were meant to do, what it is that was right for them. And yes, they did worry about whether they were good enough and they were ever going to be successful in it or how you were going to take it. Um, they seemed to worry about leaving you behind because you've always given to them. You've never, you've always had their back. You've always been there. You've always supported them. You gave them the wings to fly to believe that they could do this. The tower is like a devastating loss that comes out of nowhere. And although you knew this was going to happen, that they would leave at some point, I don't think you expected it to be this soon. And even if you did, I don't think you quite realised how you were going to feel once it happened you were so busy supporting them encouraging them making sure they were okay with their move you didn't really process it and now it's feeling like if this is a child that went away in september to university or october to university 
now is when it's finally hitting you after they've come back and they've gone away again after Christmas if they've been home. Now is when you're like, oh, okay, that wasn't just like a... It's almost like for one term you can sort of get through it, you can get focused till Christmas, but now it might be that they're not sure they're coming home for Easter with the nest, they're not home for Easter. Um, the spring break. Um, and suddenly you're like, oh, they don't need me as much anymore. They don't... And then it hits you that they've grown up and they've flown the nest and they have their own life and they have their own things, which I'm not taking away that you shouldn't feel like this. Even as a mother, as a mother, it's hard to, you see them slipping away like water in your hands, like their childhood goes so quick. Like my daughter, I found out 10 years ago, I was having a, my daughter this week, 10 years ago this week, I was having my daughter and suddenly she's a nine year old and puberty striking and I didn't think we had to deal with that for a couple more years yet but and we have to think about secondary schools this year because she wants to do her 11 plus and all of a sudden the time's gone really quick from having going oh my god I'm going to be a mum to suddenly I'm a mum and I don't even know where those 10 years went I don't I don't couldn't tell you where it went it went so fast so when you're busy supporting them and keeping going and keeping going, you don't really take time for yourself to take on board what it actually means when they're gone and grown up and flown the nest. I can't even imagine what that's like, actually. And it makes me want to cry even thinking about it. But they... You were so busy preparing them for it that you didn't prepare yourself for it. And that's where this has come from. This grief... It's not grief because you're pleased for the. It is grief because your baby's not there anymore and the child that you've spent these years invested, raising, keeping, maintaining, nurturing, suddenly that's gone. And I know it gradually tapers off how much they need you, but that doesn't mean that you stop being their mum. Even when they've moved out of home, you're still there for them. But the fact that they're gone gone but they're not gone they are gone gone they've moved out of home now it's not likely they're going to be moving home unless it's while they move home between uni and getting their own place or if if they've moved out of home for good because of a job or whatever they're following their dreams and they are on their path and you've done everything because you've got tens here you've done everything you needed to to give them the full well-rounded support they're emotionally supported. They've been emotionally developed enough to do this. You've tended to your little lotus flower. You've nurtured it. You've let it grow. And now it can float off and it can survive on its own in the lily pond. They had a creative... They had a something that inspired them. And you let them pursue that dream. You've let them continue that dream. That idea that they can do that. No matter what, they've been determined to do that ever since they were tiny and they had that initial idea that they could do that. You instilled them with that belief in themselves. You inspired them. This, yes, the Ten of Wands is a burden. But what better burden than you've inspired your kid enough that they go and follow their dreams and yes, that hurts because you love them so fiercely and so hard. I think you didn't expect them not to come home at Easter. And the fact that they're thinking, I think they're staying up there because they're working. Because of the pentacles energy and the empty nest. And they don't want to rely on you too much or ask you for money too much. But if you look, there's like the white one in the dark and the dark in the white in the snow. And this is the family tree. And yes, although they're missing, they still carry you with them. They still carry the family core. And they're still part of the family, even though they're not there, which is obvious to you, but it may not necessarily be obvious to them. So if you're coming off a bit abrupt and sad because of how you're feeling, naturally, rightfully, you're I'm not minimising your feelings at all. They may be feeling a little bit isolated from home and feeling a bit guilty and sad um because of the fact that they can't come home because they need to work they don't want to rely on you too much they want to be self-sufficient 
they want to look like they've got it all together they want to look sensible and astute and um, like they are the keeper of their own kingdom and because it's swords i'm getting a uni reference but it could be a a, a job thing well most jobs require thought don't they so but they've, they've got their crap together because that's how you raised them. You did your job. You did your job properly. They knew where they wanted to go and they have what they need if it even gets hard. The Five of Wands is like competition. They knew it was going to be competitive what they're getting into. They knew there was going to be challenges. They knew. They know. But they equally see it's the dark and the light again. They carry you with them. And yes, they're always a part of their family, but the call, you, the things that you've instilled in them run through them. You built them the core up. You are their core. You were their main structure. You are the morals that they follow. That you helped. You developed them the way they needed to be to survive this huge change and independence and going out on their own. You gave them what they needed. There will never be a battle they can't beat because there are two white wands here. And there are three of the dark of the family colours. Nothing will ever beat them. Nothing will ever defeat them. They will always keep fighting. They will always keep trying to beat through and win because you did the job you were supposed to do. You've raised them the way you were supposed to raise them. They can balance money. You taught them to be thrifty. You taught them to be money. They will never be poor. They can always weigh up a situation. They, have, they are sensible. They can make decisions. Do you know how many grown-ass adults can't make decisions? I married one. They are good with their money. That bear has a kingdom of woods. You did your job. You raised them to be sensible with money. You've raised them to be able to make decisions. Sensible decisions. You've raised them to be competitive and not be knocked down. To be resilient. Resilience is what I was looking for with that five of wands. Resilient. They know where they want to go. They know what they need to do to get there. They are determined to get there. They can balance light and dark. They can navigate their emotions. They can master those emotions. You've done your job. You've done your job. You've raised them and you've done your job. And I think that's what you're supposed to hear. Yeah. Ace of Cups is fulfillment self-love self-nourishment self-care nurture a whole person's emotions and feelings being balanced and full and you've managed that you are the sturdy mountains that they've always had that's in that background you've always been the sturdy mountain strong and true everlasting unconditional always there in the background and that's reflected in that cup the strong background that you gave them, the rock solid, sturdy, solid basis of growing up. They can climb any mountain. They will always achieve because you have raised them. This they, them and their success and their emotional success, because I don't think you even really care financially. I think this is very much you know that they'll be fine they'll be sound financially you know they're sensible with money you know they can deal with that you know that they will you you are concerned that if they do not succeed that they will fall down but they will not because you have built them their their success emotional um creatively um soulfully their success is a reflection of you and the background and Base, no, basis. Foundation. The foundation you gave them is rock solid. And they are a re true reflection of you. They are confident. They are, they have self-belief. They know they can do this. They know they have it. They know they have everything you need because you supplied that for them. And they are overflowing, bubbling, overflowing. 
and they will gush when they talk about you because oh my god my mum there is nobody like my mum there is nobody like my dad I'm so lucky that I had them nobody I've never once doubted that they didn't love me and they didn't believe in me and I think that the wobble that you're having is partly natural concern for them but I think it's being amplified because you're grieving that they've gone it feels like a loss that's come out of nowhere because it's crept up on you so quickly and you thought you were fine and and something's triggered it like they're not coming home bang you're back to where did this come from and you're struggling with it and what you need to do is be kind to yourself the light in you reflects the light in me so to speak the light in them reflects the light in you so you've taught them to be self-confident you've taught them to know where they want to go you've taught them you, you've done your job in that sense now what you need to do is be kind to yourself give yourself time look after yourself nurture yourself you've spent so much time giving from your cup that now it's time this is the time that you get to look after your own cup and fill it back up and focus on maybe what it is you want to do now they're gone you have the opportunity to do what you want to do not they're not gone gone they're not gone forever i i get i get that what i'm saying is now that they're flown the nest and they are on their own path it's time for you to think well okay what path do i want to follow now they'll come and visit your path but ultimately you you need to focus on maybe what is my path which way through the woods do i go what is it i want to do focus on loving yourself and what's going to bring you happiness you're still a mum they still they are still going to need you and as an adult it is invaluable to know that your parents still love you unconditionally and they still just because they've left home doesn't mean you've stopped being a parent they will still need you for life lessons they will need you to be brutally honest at times brutally honest brutally honest <laughs> But they also need to know that there is a safe place for them to be honest, for them to have trust that they can go home, a safe space for them. Where an almost like amnesty. Yeah, but when it gets hard, they need a safe space to come home to. When they're struggling, they can pick up the phone and talk to you. They need to be able to when they don't have strength themselves you need to have the strength yourself as well to process these feelings and what it means that they're, they're on a different path that you don't have to walk with them holding their hand anymore you need to be kind to yourself and though you're on different paths in different places they still point towards the same home. I hope that's told you everything you need to know, Taurus. Um, let me know below if it resonated or not. I do like to hear if it does. It's quite fun. It's quite fun. That's not what I mean. Enlightening to hear if it does. Um, yeah, I hope that's told you what you need to know it was what you needed to know that's what i asked them for that's what you needed to hear um thank you so much for watching i'm sending so much love and light to you namaste